to show off all the cool new features of the new visual effects tool. And this is running live on consumer hardware uh, in the latest beta. Come on, Luke. Can you hear me? I hope you made it safely down there, and I hope you can hear me. I can't hear anything. The whole system's busted. There. Security you check in progress. I see you in the monitor now. Good to see you well. Access granted. So with the new visual effect graph, you're able to create simple effects very easily, like the steam and these sparks here. And these are pretty standard. You've probably seen these in a lot of games. But with our new capabilities, you're able to easily build up to much more sophisticated pieces, like this holographic display. And the visual effects graph offers a lot of flexibility, which we needed for this display. It's doing some really crazy stuff under the hood. That's the one. There it is. Like here, for each individual pin, there's behavior driving it. It has a custom height field and a procedural wave function. Let's take a look at that graph. For sure. So here's, here's the new uh, visual effect graph. So you can see, you know, and you mentioned, this is a pretty complex effect. And so there's a lot of math to go behind this. But the, new, the node graph makes it easy to organize your logic visually. And because it's a node-based system, it's easy to use and flexible. And so that empowers artists to create stunning effects quickly with an intuitive interface. And one thing that's really nice about its visual organization is you can see that the, we have these building blocks here that walk you through every stage of the effect creation process, from spawn to initialize, update, down through to render. And if you want, you can connect in even more functionality. Totally. So we provide a library of ready-made nodes that you can just easily drop into your graph for simple things. If you want to make something a little crazier like this, this hologram, we also provide an API for creating custom nodes. So you can extend our core functionality with your own ideas. And with bit of code, you can script it up so that you can connect effects directly into your gameplay. But if you don't want to dig into code, you don't have to. Yeah, totally. You don't need to write code if you don't want to. So let's try to make a simple change here. We have this height field. Um, we can easily change the look of that up. Uh, all we got to do is we have to find the height field node here. And then we're able to just change the texture. And now we've got a Unity logo. Cool. It's nice. You can offer effects that range from simple to complex. Yeah, and it's super responsive to you. You'll notice that all the changes I made uh, happened in real time in the scene view. Um, so there's no need to rebuild your project each time that you make a change. And all these effects are stored inside visual effect assets. Each one contains a graph of the mesh, particles, and behavior you need for a standalone effect. And while building this tool, we were inspired by the leading tools for creating VFX in film, which you can see in the paradigm here. Exactly. So it's integrated with tools that you already know and love in Unity, like Timeline. So we built this new system from the ground up, using the GPU to do all the heavy lifting. And as a result, that means that the new architecture can easily handle millions of particles. The visual effect graph is available in preview for 2018.3 for HDRP, with lightweight support coming later. You can try it out right now, and we'd love to hear your feedback so we can make it even better. Thank you.